All right, so right now I am playing a new game that I bought uh, yesterday on the Apple App Store, and it's called Empire or Total War. This is a single-player battle, and uh, this is my army. I'm playing the French, and uh, this is pretty much like the best real-time tactical game that I've ever played. Um, it's not even close. So. Anyhow, that's my uh, entire army, and uh, I'm playing against the British. This is a map called Salamanca, a city in Spain, and um, my uh, unit, my army, has, well, we're outnumbered by the British about two to one, so um, I did that because the AI uh, seems to do a little better with uh, overwhelming force, and I wanted to see if I could... Um, how well I could do against overwhelming odds. My uh, army is comprised of primarily infantry, line infantry, and I have um, two heavy cavalry units and a general unit, a general bodyguard unit, and uh, uh, four artillery units, um, which are, the French have particularly good artillery units, so I wanted to try to use those to my advantage. So, um, looking now at the British Army, they also have primarily infantry and artillery. Um, and they also have some, some heavy cavalry. Like I said, their force is about twice the size of ours. and um, That sort of just makes it more interesting, I think. Um, because otherwise it's too easy to win. Even, even with an evenly matched force, I can pretty much outwit the, uh, um, the AI pretty well. But anyhow, so... Um, what I'm doing now is I'm moving my units into a defensive position around what looks to be a pretty uh, tactically advantageous hill. Um, and they are, it looks like the AI is attempting to unify their armies scattered across the entire back of the battlefield, so they're trying to converge sir, on sir, our position. Sir, our general is under attack! And, um... The AI sends, sends out like a few units sometimes, just like one or two, like they'll send out a, a random horse cavalry unit to, I don't know for what reason, maybe to try to test, on a poke, try to catch some uh, unaware unit or something off guard and have a quick uh, you know, victory against a particular unit. But uh, in this case, they, they charge their cavalry in the woods towards our um, front lines, and I sent the, our own cavalry to quickly uh, dispatch them, and um, let's sort of see what's happening here. One of the neat things about the game is that you, know, you can actually go really close into the units, even when they're in the woods or whatever, and see what they're doing. This is a recording, I'm not playing live right now, this is a battle that I already played. Um, but I, I thought it was such a, uh, a fun battle that uh, I wanted to record it and for posterity. And this is my right flank here, and this, this is going to become uh, an issue because they really uh, piled up their units on the right flank. And um, I attempted at one point, you'll see, to reinforce it with units from the left, but um, it was a little too too late for that particular group of units. And my cap, my artillery have set up their positions on the hill. Because there are trees on the hill, it's it's difficult to find a uh, like the ideal position on the, uh, with unobstructed view. So what I did was I split up my uh, my artillery into two places or one on the left hand side of those trees and the other right now is moving to the right hand side of the trees i don't know maybe that's a noob move but uh seemed to make sense the the artillery moved very slowly at least these ones seem to and uh, we've now formed our defensive line and they're basically trying to envelop us on all sides and um, I have to say, the AI, either I was not playing as well as I should have, but the AI seemed particularly intelligent in this battle. They did um, pretty smart things, it seems to me, um, which made it, of course, more entertaining to play. 
And we seem to be doing all right on the right flank so far. And they're slowly moving their full force forward and attempting to do so in a unified manner, more or less. You never want to just move one... Normally, you don't want to move one unit forward, and, and, you know, against... You want to move them together. Because otherwise, you're, you're allowing uh, an obvious divide-and-conquer type of thing. So it looks like these artillery are almost in position. It took long enough. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest and a while. What I'm trying to do with these forces, because I can see that they're building up their forces on the right hand side. So the, I'm trying to move the cavalry behind that unit over there to, to, uh, so that I can flank it, charge it, and hopefully quickly um, dispose of it. Um, let's try to weaken their, their lines on the right hand side. It is. It, it does become overwhelming at, at points to try to manage everything that's happening on the battlefield at once because you can see the lines are pretty stretched out. Um, that's just the way the game is. And I don't think that I moved my cavalry close enough behind them. They, they, they saw me coming a mile away, literally. <laughs> so they just turned around. But they're still taking fire at their back. So, because now they've turned around, they're taking fire at their back uh, from my, my unit on the hill. So there is some tactical advantage to that, and the, the horses charge in, and they have a pretty strong charge. And I will route this unit, so that's a good thing. The unit will start to flee. See, the, the flashing flag, you can see that flashing flag there, yeah, that means that they're fleeing. Fortunately, they have so many units out there that now that that unit's fleeing, they have all these other units available to sort of pick up my cavalry while they retreat back into, back into the woods. It's kind of like a raid. And I've now changed my... So my, my artillery are getting set up there, and I'm about to change it from standard artillery shells to grape shot because um, it's getting to the point where it's just going to be a sea of British and uh, that will be the most effective type of munitions, I guess. I'm not really sure what impact the trees have on, on firing. I assume there's some obstruction there that's probably good and bad for both sides. The game is pretty realistic in that regard, like, uh, if you put a unit behind your own unit, if you, if you double up your units and you're on flat ground, you have two cavalry, uh, two infantry units, one behind the other, and you order them both to attack, the, the unit that's behind will shoot your own guys in the back, so you want to try, so it's pretty um, realistic in that regard, there's no invisibility of friendly units. They're still hanging in there, it seems, that's good. And I really like how the uh, artificial intelligence here kind of lines up the units in a uh, tactically logical way. It's not just kind of a charge all at once. Our men are running, you know, sir. Closest unit or whatever. So that unit over that's heading to the woods very slowly because I forgot to put it on run is. Um, trying to reinforce the right the right flank and I put a different unit into that little gap there. But they've also started to amass units on there on my left and they're going straight for the artillery units which by now are fully set up and, and putting on a pretty good show for their troops. Our men are running, sir!
A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. 